What if I told you that everything you can see in the universe, every star, planet, galaxy, and nebula, makes up less than 5% of what's actually out there? The rest? We can't see it, we can't touch it, but we know it's there, silently shaping the cosmos. I'm talking about dark matter, the invisible glue-like skeleton of our universe, and today we're diving into what we know, what we don't know, and why it matters to our understanding of the universe. We'll break down the evidence for its existence, explore the leading theories about what it might be, and look at the cutting-edge experiments trying to detect it right now. Let's start with a mystery. In the 1930s, Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky was studying the Coma Cluster, a massive collection of over 1,000 galaxies. When he calculated how fast these galaxies were moving, something didn't add up. They were moving so quickly that the cluster should have torn itself apart, but it didn't. It was as if some invisible mass was holding everything together. Zwicky concluded there must be some missing mass providing the extra gravitational pull. In the 1970s, American astronomer Vera Rubin observed something equally perplexing. She found that stars at the edges of galaxies were orbiting at the same speed as stars near the center. This completely contradicted the laws of physics as we understood them. According to Newton's laws, stars farther from the galactic center should orbit more slowly, just like planets farther from the sun move more slowly. But they don't. It's as if galaxies are embedded in a much larger mass than what we can see, a halo of invisible matter extending far beyond the visible galaxy. Before we discuss what dark matter might be, let's clear up what it isn't. First, dark matter is not just regular matter that's hard to see, like black holes, rogue planets, or cold gas clouds. Scientists have carefully measured these contributions and they simply can't account for the massive gravitational effects we observe. Second, dark matter is not antimatter. Antimatter produces distinctive gamma rays when it contacts regular matter, and we don't see enough of these signals. Third, dark matter is not a modification of gravity. While some scientists have proposed adjusting our understanding of gravity to explain these observations without dark matter, theories like modified Newtonian dynamics or MOND, these approaches struggle to explain all the evidence we now have. So, what is dark matter? Honestly, we don't know yet. And that's what makes this field so exciting. Quick poll for you. If you could name dark matter, what would you call it? Drop your creative names in the comments below. The case for dark matter goes far beyond galaxy rotation. Let's look at three more compelling pieces of evidence. First, gravitational lensing. Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that mass bends light. When we look at distant galaxies, we can see their light being bent by something massive that we can't see. In fact, we can map dark matter by measuring these distortions. Take the bullet cluster, for example. Two galaxy clusters that collided. The collision separated the visible matter from the gravitational center. The visible matter, shown in pink, slowed down during the collision, while the gravitational effects, shown in blue, passed right through. This separation is nearly impossible to explain without dark matter particles that don't interact with regular matter, except through gravity. Second, the cosmic microwave background, the oldest light in the universe. The tiny temperature fluctuations in this radiation reveal the gravitational landscape of the early universe, and they match perfectly with models that include dark matter. Third, computer simulations of galaxy formation. When scientists try to model how galaxies form without dark matter, they get nothing like our universe. Add dark matter and suddenly the simulations create structures that look just like the universe we observe. So, what could dark matter actually be? The two leading candidates are WIMPs and axions. WIMPs, or weakly interacting massive particles, are hypothetical particles that barely interact with regular matter, but have substantial mass. They're predicted by extensions of the standard model of particle physics, and would have been produced in the early universe. Axions, on the other hand, are much lighter particles originally proposed to solve a problem in quantum chromodynamics. If they exist, axions would have been produced abundantly in the early universe and could be converted to photons in strong magnetic fields. Here's something mind-blowing. If dark matter is made of axions, there could be trillions of them passing through your body every second without you feeling a thing. There are other candidates too. 
sterile neutrinos, primordial black holes, or entirely new forms of matter we haven't conceived of yet. The truth is, dark matter might be more complex than a single type of particle. So how do scientists search for something they can't see? With incredibly creative experiments. Deep underground experiments like Xenon and Lux use massive tanks of liquid Xenon as dark matter detectors. The idea is that occasionally, very occasionally, a dark matter particle might bump into a Xenon atom, producing a tiny flash of light that sensitive detectors can pick up. These detectors are placed deep underground, sometimes in abandoned mines over a mile below the surface, to shield them from cosmic rays and other interference. They're also surrounded by water tanks and other shielding to block natural radioactivity. Just pause and think for a second. Scientists are looking for particles that might pass through the entire Earth without stopping, using some of the most sensitive instruments ever built. Isn't that incredible? Other experiments take different approaches. The Large Hadron Collider tries to create dark matter particles by smashing protons together at nearly the speed of light. Space-based telescopes like Fermi look for gamma rays that might be produced when dark matter particles annihilate each other. So far, despite decades of searching, we haven't definitively detected dark matter particles. Each failed detection narrows the possibilities and tells us something new about what dark matter could be. Dark matter isn't just a cosmic curiosity. It's fundamental to our universe's past and future. It formed the scaffolding that allowed galaxies to form. Without dark matter, we might not have galaxies, stars, planets, or life. Its gravitational pull works against the mysterious force we call dark energy, which is causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. The cosmic tug of war between dark matter and dark energy will shape the universe's future. Think of the universe as a vast cosmic symphony. Regular matter, the stars and galaxies, are the soloists that catch our attention. Dark energy is the steady rhythm pushing everything apart. And dark matter, it's the invisible conductor, silently shaping the entire performance without ever being seen. We know it exists because we can see its gravitational effects. We have compelling theories about what it might be, and scientists around the world are working tirelessly to detect it directly. The quest to understand dark matter isn't just about filling in a gap in our knowledge. It's about understanding the fundamental nature of our universe Perhaps someday soon, we'll finally detect dark matter particles, opening a new chapter in physics and astronomy. What do you think dark matter is? Do you have questions about any of the concepts we covered? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the cosmos, hit that like button and subscribe for more explorations of our mysterious universe. If you want to learn more about the mysteries of the universe, check out our video on dark energy right here. Thanks for watching.